In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve a word problem involving ellipsis. The question reads, a semi-elliptical archway over a one-way road has a height of 10 feet and a width of 40 feet. Will a truck that is 12 feet wide and has a height of 9 feet clear the opening of the archway? So we're being indirectly told that the ellipse is longer horizontally than it is vertically. To answer this question correctly, you need to know what the standard equation of an ellipsis looks like. And it's written right here. Notice that we have two terms, x squared plus y squared, and that's very important that you have the plus in between, otherwise it's a hyperbola. So you have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. And in order for you to have an ellipse where it's longer horizontally than it is vertically, your a term needs to be bigger than your b term. Going back to the question, they tell us that it is 40 feet wide. So if we center the truck at the origin, the distance from here to here represents 40. And the distance from here to the top is 10. With that being said, I'll set a equal to the distance from the origin to one of the vertices, that's 20 and b equal to the distance from here to here. Now let's substitute these values into our equation. x squared over 20 squared plus y squared over 10 squared is equal to 1. Now, 20 to the power of 2 is 400, and this is 100. So our equation now is x squared over 400 plus y squared over 100 is equal to 1. That represents the equation of the ellipse. Now, we want to know, will the truck that is 12 feet wide and has a height of 9 feet clear the opening of the archway? So the distance from here to here is 12 feet. What I will do is substitute x is equal to 6 into here. And then I'll solve for y to see if the value of y is greater or less than 9. If it's greater than 9, that means it can pass through. If it's less than 9, that means it won't be able to pass through. Let's go ahead and do that. So we have 6 to the power of 2 over 400 plus y to the power of 2 over 100. And by all means, you could have also substituted 9 into y and solved for x to see if it works. Now, let's go ahead and solve for y. A common denominator amongst all three terms is 400. So I'll multiply this whole thing by 400. This will become 1. This will become 4 in the numerator position. And this will become 400. So we have 6 to the power of 2, which is 36. I'll cross that out and write down 36. Plus 4y to the power of 2 is equal to 400. Bring that 36 over. 400 minus 36 divide by 4. Using our calculator, 400 minus 36 divided by 4 gives us 91. Let's take the square root of both sides. The square root of 91 is roughly 9.53. 9.53 suggests that as the truck is passing through, the height clears the height of the truck by 0 0.53 feet. Therefore, the truck will be able to pass through the opening of this archway. And there you have it. That is how to solve a word problem involving ellipsis.